Hey everybody, it's Patrick. It is Tuesday afternoon, which means that I'm here to talk about all things hair. Today I thought I'd follow up on a video that I made a couple of weeks ago that was called How Does Shampoo Work? Uh, I'll link to that in the comments uh, in the description below and probably also somewhere around here as well. Um, in that I used rubber ducks on sticks to tell you how uh, shampoo had these um, chemicals called surficants. Uh, what surficants do is they uh, have two ends. One's a long end, which finds uh, things that are not water, which is basically dirt or especially fats or oils, which is how you wash the oil out of your hair, sticks into them. And then the top end of the surficant is um, attracted to water so that it pulls the dirt away with it. So that's how shampoo works. And if you're interested to see a little bit more information about that, uh, I do have a video about that. Today, I figured I'd follow up with that to talk about how conditioner works and I've done some research into it because I, I'm always looking for a good conditioner and trying to figure out exactly what makes it work. And quite honestly, conditioners themselves um, seem to all work exactly the same way. Basically, when you're done shampooing your hair, um, the process by which you are shampooing your hair uh, uses a lot of uh, uh, charges up your hair. It, it, it takes away um, a lot of the, the positive charge from your hair and it leaves your hair negatively charged and uh, alkaline. Uh, those two things basically uh, make your hair uh, a lot less manageable than it would be if your hair um, was in better condition. Which means that one alkaline means that those little I've talked about this before. Your hair is basically the interior part, and then you have these uh, cuticles on top. Those are sticking up because what happened is the shampoo has uh, created an alkaline on your hair, which means that these little things stick up, which means that the surficants can go in there, grab the uh, oil, grab the uh, surface dirt, and then pull it away. Those stay open like this because of alkalinity. That's your hair doesn't want to be alkaline. It wants to be a slightly acidic. So your conditioner, one, will change the alkalinity in your hair or the pH balance in your hair to more acid. That's why things like um, a cider vinegar or uh, a really, really uh, light uh, aloe vera, um, those types of things in a, in a solution can calm those down. So those lie down a little bit more flat. So basically what it's doing is taking those cuticles and laying them flat, and that means that your hair is going to look a lot more flat. Um, it's going to just straighten out the strands. The other thing that it does is that conditioner works on something called uh, cationic surficants. Cationic um, surficants are basically positively charged. Your hair is negatively charged after you have washed it because um, you pulled uh, it, it, af the uh, the pulling out of all of the dirt and oil and everything changes your hair to be more negatively charged. If you think about this in uh, the way of a, uh, if you've ever rubbed, say, a balloon on your head, or if you've ever worn a hat and you've pulled it off really quickly, that's going to negatively charge your hair because um, it just, it, it attracts those electrons into your hair and they all sort of stick up. Well, when your hair is filled with static electricity like that, it's very difficult to calm down. It doesn't all become slippery. It just kind of tangles with each other because it's trying to get away from each other. Negative um, repels negative, so it's trying to get away from each other. These cationic surficants that are in uh, conditioner basically attach themselves. They're a positive uh, charge. They attach themselves to these negative charges and they calm down your hair as well. So basically, when you're talking about conditioner, you're talking about two things. One, you're adding uh, an acid to your hair, You're a very, very light acid. You probably wouldn't want to go with a very uh, strong acid because that would be irritating to your hair. Um, and two, you are positively charging your hair. So basically both of those things make your hair sleeker, um, more slippery to each individual strand. So when you pick it up, it'll all fall together. It doesn't just uh, get all frizzy. Um, and then, uh, a little bit of this because of this uh, positive charge binding to the negative charge of your hair stays behind so it adds weight it can add a little bit of oil etc 
Now, when you're talking about conditioners, again, you probably, your hair probably doesn't care too much uh, one way or the other, whether this is a natural product or a not so natural product. It depends on the chemistry of your hair, what it reacts to. The other thing that I would say is that oils, from what I see, don't necessarily stick to your hair without this cationic uh, surficant uh, activity happening. So if you're relying on oils to keep your hair uh, in place, you basically want to do that outside of the shower um, or outside of your cleaning process because it does not have that uh, electronic charge in order to stay on your hair. So if you're adding oils uh, and then popping in the shower, it's basically you're, you're wasting a lot of uh, effort and probably some money on that. If you want to use oils, from what I've seen, you need to allow them the time to actually absorb into your hair. And from what I've seen uh, in the different uh, uh, journals or uh, industry uh, publications that I've read, is that oil, if it does indeed uh, soak into your hair, and some oils don't, um, I've seen uh, avocado oil and jojoba oil and um, coconut oil all do absorb, but they take several hours. So if you're going to be oiling your hair, either use it as a dressing, a hair dressing, where you can put it onto your hair um, and let it sit there and just stay there. It'll just do its thing because there's nothing to wash it away. Um, or if you are going to wash it out because you're using a lot of oil, put it on where you have several hours or especially overnight to stay in there and do its thing. Um, oil itself is not exactly a conditioner. Um, conditioner mostly counteracts what happens when you wash your hair. So if you find your hair to be a bit lifeless because you're co-washing a lot, you may want to consider just not letting water hit your hair at all because you may be just adjusting um, some sort of chemical reaction that isn't currently happening uh, in your hair. Anyway, uh, that's my uh, little bit of science, hair science for today. Um, I will be back next week to talk a little bit more about hair, and you'll probably hear some more stuff about what else is going on in my life uh, throughout the week on the other uh, videos I make this week. So have a great afternoon.